Well, let, let's continue on education. So, uh, where'd you go to college? Well, believe it or not, I got into uh, teach. I got into well, I got into NYU. I got into their business school as a freshman. I had you know pretty good grades actually. My SATs were abnormally high, um, and more importantly, back then they cared. <laughs> Uh, it was actually realistically normally high. Uh, but back then, I played two varsity sports and I was president of my class and all that hoopla that got me into the business school. I went to NYU and um, I loved NYU. I loved New York. I didn't really care for NYU much. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't like this. You didn't, have, you didn't have greeting committees and you didn't have all the, you know, you could, I was dropped off in, in Washington Square Park and there was a drug deal happening like in front of my face. <laughs> um, which, you know, coming from Seven kids from my school, from Beverly Hills High School, went to NYU. Uh, very obviously different settings. After the first semester, all six of them came back. I was the only no one left. So it was really a kind of sh culture shock, but something I had flourished. I, you know, it's kind of like a song. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. I loved it. And my first, you know, I, I joined a fraternity right away without even realizing kind of what kind of went into joining a fraternity. But I, I just hit the ground running. Um, and it was a very unique experience. And I think one of the I think experience that really I think uh, raised my senses to kind of being more street smart, and even actually being you know, and I'd worked my whole life, believe it or not. I mean, I fought to work. I loved when my friends would go away to school in Switzerland for the summer. I'd be working odd jobs uh, against the family's wishes because I just loved it.